It's the message no one about to graduate medical school wants to see. You did not match. I just froze and I stayed under the bed covers for a while and it's like, oh, well, well now what? Because I hadn't planned for that outcome. Just like that, Kelly Leanne's dream of becoming an emergency room doctor disappeared. Selfie Kelly or, had hoped yeah. to become a surgeon. It just kind of felt like the floor falling out from underneath your feet kind of feeling. Matching isn't about grades. All the candidates have a medical degree. But to become a licensed doctor, you also need to complete years of supervised training or residency in a specific area of medicine. Problem is, more and more Canadian grads are not landing those residency spots, often leaving them lost and deeply in debt. Overall, I think I'm close to 150000 in some cases, the rejection has been far more profound. In 2016, Robert Chu took his own life, saying, without residency, my degree is effectively useless. I think it's, it's uh, an impossible situation that, that they are in. The matching process is extremely complex, involving applications, interviews and algorithms. Students say it's rushed and highly subjective. But medical schools insist the deeper issue is that the ratio of students to residency spots is changing. The number of positions available to graduates of Canadian medical schools has actually decreased with time. The number of residency spots is ultimately decided by provincial funding. While Canadian grads get first dibs, international students also go into that shrinking pool. But when a Canadian student doesn't end up becoming a doctor, taxpayers also lose out. Unlike lawyers and engineers, the public spends roughly a quarter of a million dollars educating a med student. But universities don't think lowering their enrollment is the answer either. In the second and final round, Lien matched into family medicine. But Kellyan and an estimated 80 others are now deciding whether to walk away or try like again next year. Christine Birak, CBC News, Waterloo.